Kalau kalian belum terlalu pandai dalam bahasa Inggris, jangan berkecil hati. Don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to who you were last year. Kamu nggak gila. Memang bagian dari episode ini lebih rumit. Halo semua and welcome back to Celeb English. Makin bongkar bahasa Inggris di Celeb Indonesia. Dan hari ini kita bongkarnya beauty pageant winner Jolene Marie. Dan... Juga Frederica Alexis Kahl. And I didn't know this before, but after a little research, saya dapat tahu bahwa dua-duanya mixed Indo bule. Tapi bahasa Inggrisnya beda. So let's start with Frederica Alexis Kahl. The Indonesian president. President Joko Widodo once said that all citizens should have the same opportunities without exception. I did have a presentation for you, but it's not on, so I'm just going to continue. Okay, so far, if I was like listening to her on the phone or something, like I would think that she's American. Waduh, berarti Frederica berhasil menipu saya karena dia Indonesian Australian yang lahir besar di Australia dan bapaknya juga orang Australia dan bapaknya lahir di UK. Aduh, membingungkan. Now the Bulacan Shanti is located near a busy toll road in my hometown Jakarta, Indonesia. Like if I was gonna say located, I would tekan low, located. Located. Dan dia tekan K. Located. 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 Hmm. Busy toll road. Majority of those who live in the shanties work as garbage scavengers, earning less than a dollar forty per day. She doesn't sound Australian. Earning less than a dollar forty per day. Earning less than a dollar forty per day. I don't know. But I, at that moment, I'd probably ask, "Where are you from, by the way?" Like, karena I'm getting, I don't know, some kind of Irish vibes. The accent sounds very international. Sometimes more American. Sometimes more Irish, maybe. But like muted. I think she only came back to Indonesia when she was like in high school. Mungkin. Oh, kata Wikipedia juga so. Don't quote me on that. And and then I was curious, can she speak Indonesian? So I got a clip of her speaking Bahasa. Dia kayak cinta lora atau gimana? Bangga sekali, nggak nyangka bisa masuk 10 besar Indonesia mm. tahun ini karena this is the first time in history. It sounds perfect to me, but she does go into Indonesian a lot. Ignore the hate. Mm. Karena itu caranya kita bisa membangun self confidence mm. at the end of the day. Karena haters yang kita dapat online mereka tidak mengenal siapa diri kita sebenarnya. So why should we care about mm. their opinions? Anyway, native speaker, yes. And next we have Jolene, ibunya dari Amerika. Jolene lahirnya juga di Amerika dan bapaknya orang Indonesia. Dan kayaknya dia jauh lebih lama tinggal di Indonesia. Let's have a listen. I'm a beauty pageant title holder of Putri Indonesia Lingkungan and Miss International Indonesia 2019. Maybe some of you are confused why a beauty pageant title holder like me standing in front of all of you. Why is she doing here? Standing in front of all of you. So uh, one or two mistakes. As a developing country that is privileged with so many natural resources, isn't enough to give my people proper understanding that they need to have about the environment. This is not a complete thought. Kalimatnya belum lengkap. So let's try doing this. Living in a developing country that is privileged with so many natural resources isn't enough to give my people a proper understanding of environmental issues. Atau mungkin lebih enak begini. As a developing country rich in natural resources, it is crucial that we Indonesians have a proper understanding of environmental issues. And the word privileged. 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 We say privileged in the American accent. Privileged. 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 I itu, it sounds like it. Privileged, not privileged. The most heartbreaking thing was seeing nearly six kilos of plastic waste, including none other than single-use plastic from its tummy. Did you say known? None other. None other. But it should be read none, just like done. I, I'm pretty sure she already knows it's none, like salabacha. Also, she used the word tummy. Tummy. 
and tummy means stomach. However, tummy is kind of a kid term. Oh, does your tummy hurt? <laughs> Kuchuali tummy tuck. And takanapa, it's a tummy tuck and not a stomach tuck or a gut tuck. Untuk speech kayak gini, mungkin stomach. Tapi penonton, they're not gonna care. Yang penting ngerti, you guys already know that. Holding the title of Putri Indonesia Lingkungan finally given me the voice I need to have since long time ago when my heart first grew for the environment. Ini salah bahasa Inggrisnya. <laughs> Tapi gua ngerti intinya number one, dia udah lama rasa gini dan kedua dia baru punya power sekarang berkat uh, title ini. So here's one option I came up with. Holding the title finally gives me the voice I need to bring light to the environmental issues that have been weighing heavily on my heart for so long. Not good? Okay, here's another one. Ever since I was a young girl, I've been worried about what will happen to our environment if we continue to be complacent. Yet I had no voice. Holding this title finally gives me that voice. Still no good. I don't know lah. <laughs> Pokonya, you can create your own. The simpler, the better, actually. Nggak usah terlalu fancy, fancy pants gitu. Ini, ini ada satu kesalahan yang uh, sering saya dengar. Since long time ago. Since and ago, mereka sepupu tapi saling benci mungkin ya. Okay, di kalimat pertama, um, di mana kita pakai ago, it's in the simple past tense. Jadi, I moved to Bali three years ago. Yakni, gua pindahan tiga tahun yang lalu dan proses pindahnya sudah selesai. Nah, di kalimat kedua, that's a perfect tense. In this case, it's the present perfect continuous tense. I've been living in Bali since 2017. And I'm using since karena aku mulai tinggal di Bali tahun 2017 dan sampai sekarang saya masih tinggal di Bali. Dan kalau pakai since, yakni sejak, kita nggak usah pakai ago lagi. Kalau mau bilang sejak lama, uh, you can just say for a long time. Itu boleh juga. Kalau saya tinggal di Bali sejak tiga tahun yang lalu, di bahasa Inggris, itu I've been living in Bali for three years. Jadi pakai for. Nggak ada pakai ago. Also, Jolene um, is kind of lacking other things that native speakers say. Like, she says, every layer of people. I went to village, islands, schools, collaborate with the governments, and every layer of people. Kalau native speaker, lebih mungkin bilang people from all walks of life. But still, like, that level of English is really enough. She could probably get any job she wanted to, except for, like, writing for the Jakarta Post. However, it could be improved. If I were her, I would memorize my scripts. Get a native speaker to edit it with perfect grammar and new vocabulary. Because she needs more vocabulary and more advanced grammar than, say, a beach boy. Well, I truly believe beauty is something from the inside. So, eating healthy is the most important. Oh my God. Itu namanya not very subtle. The B is not pronounced. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. So, um, I thought that was really interesting. So, Alnya, dua duanya Indo, Indonesian bule. I don't know what you want to call it. Ah. I got an Indo kid too, and I'm always curious, like, what's gonna happen? Like, nanti ngomongnya kayak gimana? Karena temanku, dia orang Scotlandia, tapi logatnya British, karena bapaknya raised her British or something. I don't know lah. And then, anaknya sounds American. So I'm like, Pff. And she's like, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, well, I want Z to sound like me. So only nanti kalau aku pulang ke Kanada dan aku lagi belanja di toko, and then aku ngomong kayak gini, and then anakku kayak orang Australia atau apalah, nanti mereka kira bahwa aku culik dia. Cause it's weird. Tapi di sini nggak weird, karena kita semuanya weird di sini. This one Indonesia, right? I don't know lah. Aku masih bingung. Anyway, jangan lupa subscribe. And I hope you learned something today. Thank you, Jolene Marie and Frederica Cull for being sacrificed on the altar of English. Hari ini. 
and congratulations on your success. Good luck on your English speaking journey. And I will see you next time. Oh, dan enggak terlalu sweaty hari ini kan? You know why? I got a bag of ice and I put it on my lap the whole video. I can't feel my legs, but I'm not sweating. I love this new trick. Bye.